Some 30 years ago in Stockholm, the first global meeting on environment and development took place. At the same time within UNESCO, a new program was being formulated, which contained, at its heart, biosphere reserves. Biosphere reserves can be considered essentially as a tool to achieve a sustainable balance between the promotion of human development and the conservation of biological diversity. They're structured into three main types of zones. Firstly, a core area which is strictly protected, a buffer zone which surrounds the core areas, and then a transition zone in which people live what might be called normal, typical lives. As tools, biosphere reserves aim to produce results in three main areas. Firstly, a contribution to conservation of landscapes, ecosystems, species and even genes. Secondly, as sites where experiments in human and sustainable development can take place, which is culturally and ecologically sustainable. And finally, areas to support research and all importantly monitoring and education. In short, they have to fulfill the following functions. Firstly, a conservation function, a development function, and then a logistic function. The very first biosphere reserve was nominated in 1976, and today we have reached 408 sites in 94 countries. These sites are organized at the global level in a network, the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. We say that biosphere reserves are a partnership for people and nature. The reason they're a partnership is because people and nature need to link. We need to enable governments at all levels to work with local communities in ensuring that the sites are nominated and well managed. As some of the nominated areas are also recognized under other sites, other international designations, such as sites of wetlands of international importance or World Heritage Sites, this is another reason why biosphere reserves are particularly important. <music> Partnership, collaborations and program of joint work with these and many other institutions, organisations and conventions have been developed accordingly to the needs of the sites. At the site level, in biosphere reserves, partnerships have also been established to improve management and awareness programs, such as the case of establishing so-called eco-jobs, where in the Mata Atlantica Biosphere Reserve such an excellent example exists. There are several partners, some local NGOs, state and federal government, universities, UNESCO programs, and the Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, have been involved. However, the most remarkable partnership is the one created thanks to the concept of biosphere reserves between people and nature. It's expressed in various forms, based on the roles of local populations and the natural resources available to them. People visit, work, conduct research, live, learn and teach in biosphere reserves. Their interactions with natural resources in terms of traditional knowledge, economic revenue and experimental research are keys to these special partnerships. <laughs>